Welcome to Adaptation. I'm Kendall Bryant, and in honor of Band Books Week 2015, I'm going to be reading a little bit of Forever by Judy Bloom, which was published in 1975. The book follows Kath through her first love and her first sexual experiences, so you can probably guess why it made it to the number two most banned book in 2005. It's also been challenged for profanity, encouraging disrespectful behavior, and not painting a responsible role for parents. Because of its relevance to current news stories, I'm going to be reading a chapter where Kath goes to Planned Parenthood for birth control, and also an author's note that appears in my copy. We talked about the weather and my family for a minute, and then she asked me my reason for coming to the clinic. I told her, I think it's my responsibility to make sure I don't get pregnant. She nodded and said, do you have one special boyfriend? Yes. Have you discussed it with him? Not really. How do you think he'll feel about it? I'm sure he'll be very happy. He approves of birth control. But coming here was all your idea. Yes, absolutely. Good. Some of the questions I have to ask you are rather personal, Catherine, so we can determine what method of birth control will be best for you. I understand. Have you already had sexual intercourse? Yes. Have you been using a birth control device? Yes. Which one? A rubber. That is, a condom. Combined with foam or by itself? By itself. And you find that method unacceptable? Well, it's hard for me to say because we just did it one time. Oh, I see. Now I nodded. But you plan to have intercourse regularly? Yes. About how often? How often? I repeated. Yes. How often do you plan to have intercourse? Well, I don't know exactly. Would you say weekends and holidays, or every day, or once a month, or a few times a year? I guess on weekends, mainly. Do you think you'll know in advance, or will it be a spontaneous decision? I guess I'll know in advance. Okay, so much for that. I'll need a little medical history now. How old were you when you began to menstruate? About 14. And your periods are regular? Sort of. I get it every four to five weeks. And how long does each period last? About five days. Any bleeding in between periods? No. Vaginal discharge? Sometimes. Color? Just clear. That's normal. Any severe cramping? No, just some low back pain the first day. Nothing bad. How about your mother? Is she in good health? Yes, she's fine. Does she take birth control pills? No, she uses a diaphragm. Quite a good method if it's used properly. I'd rather take the pill. Yes, it has its aesthetic advantages, but it's not the answer for everyone. I guess I must have looked unhappy when she said that, because she added, We'll see what the doctor has to say, okay? The whole idea of coming here is to find the birth control device which best suits the individual. I nodded again. A note to the reader. When I wrote Forever, in the mid-70s, sexual responsibility meant preventing unwanted pregnancy. Today, sexual responsibility also means preventing sexually transmitted infections, STIs, including a potentially fatal one, HIV-AIDS. In the book, Catherine visits a clinic and is given a prescription for the pill. Today, she would be told it is essential to use a latex condom, along with any other method of contraception, to reduce the risk of getting an STI. If you're going to become sexually active, then you must take responsibility for your own actions and your own life. For more information, contact the nearest Planned Parenthood by calling 1-800-230-PLAN. 